Hi, my name is Stephen Rafferty, and you are watching These Are Questions, and this, as you can hear the music, this is a These Are Questions, uh, hold on, one sec, right. holiday special. Hi, my name is Stephen Rafford, and you're watching These Are Questions. This is the interview show where I ask people questions about things, life, and such not. And it's Miami Art Week. And specifically, this is Fusion Art Week here at Fusion Fashion Events. And I'm with a talented model and a talented interviewer. Please welcome Shay Filling. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time right now. You're very welcome. So let me get right to it. Shay, I'm going to ask you a series of questions based on your career and aspirations, along with a mixture of questions that are borderline idiotic and, well, randomly stupid. Okay. okay. Sounds like my kind of video. <laughs> and it is because you're in the video, and I'm in the video, and this is the interview here at Fusion Art Week, here at Miami Art Week, and here for this holiday special. So let me get right to it down to Chase. So, Shay, how long have you been modeling for? I would say it's about like three years now, consistently. That's good, that's good. And what got you into modeling? Well, modeling has been my dream since I was very little. I took modeling classes back in Pennsylvania and I just, at, at some point in my life, I was like, I have to go for this, I have to make it big. And finally, I'm, I'm doing everything that I've dreamed of since I was little. Wow, that's awesome, that's incredible there. And you have the best of both worlds, but not just being a model, but also being a professional interviewer. How did that also get started for you? Like I said, with the modeling, I just went for it. I, I just, you know, I sent emails and I pushed, put myself out there and visualized it, manifestation, and you just have to follow your dream, go for it. You only live once, this is your life, this is your time, do it. Good motivation there. You only live once here on These Are Questions. Yes. I, I tell anybody, don't wait. Just go for it. This is your time. If I can do this, you can. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let me ask you, Shay. Um, are you a Taylor Swift fan? Yes, I do. I, I mean, I'm not the biggest Taylor Swift fan, but I, de I definitely have appreciation for her music and I have a lot of respect for her. Okay, very cool, very cool. So let me follow up with that. Um, do you use your Swifter wet jet when you're listening to Taylor Swift as a Swifty? No, but I should. Mm -mm. I, I'm definitely going to start doing that now with the Swifter when I go. <laughs> as you should. I mean, Taylor Swift. I'm, I, listen, you have a, a ton of money and you have a ton of things going on, but hey, get a collaboration with Swifter. You call it the Swifty. I'm ready. Let's you go. Know? There you go, right there. I'm just saying right there, here, okay? And even the music agrees with me, too, okay? Just saying on there. Just saying. And, and with this music, I'm going to follow up saying, like, uh, let me ask you, do you know how to deck the halls? Hell yeah. Okay, how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you deck the halls. That's how you, that's how you do it? That's how you do it? Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll finish it, I'll finish it. Up. I got two more questions, two more questions here, and these are questions. Let me ask you, is Rudolph actually a red-nosed reindeer? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. That's just, all I, yeah. I, I just wanted to confirm that. I wasn't sure, you know? I, I don't know. You never know on the internet these days. Okay. And my last question to finish off our interview real quick, because we're going to rapid fire interviews on these are questions, is um, how are you spending your time for the holidays? Well, I'm actually going to my hometown, Allentown, Pennsylvania. I'm actually going to go visit my family. So that's, that's what I'll be doing for Christmas. Shout out to your family. Thank you. Shout out to Pennsylvania. I love you. <laughs> and just like that, this concludes our interview for These Are Questions. Shay, I wish you all the best in your modeling and professional career. I hope you do awesome and enjoy the show tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks. Hi, my name is Stephen Rafferty, and you're watching These Are Questions. It's the interview show where I ask people questions about things, life, and such not. And today's guest is the one and only style god, Quinn KB. Thanks for having me, Raph. You're very welcome. I'm going to ask you a series of questions based on your career and aspirations, along with a mixture of questions that are borderline idiotic and, well, randomly stupid. Do you accept those terms? Of course. Okay, great. I'm going to go right to the interview because we only have so much time because you're very stylish right now. So let me ask you, how did you become the style god? You know, after a period of time when you just started to put good outfits together, people kind of gave me that name, honestly. 
So I just live up to the mantle every day that I could. I like it. It's a good model. It's a good model. And and, and and how long have you been in like the fashion style realm for? I mean, I would say probably the past four years. I started going to fashion shows just because you know, I like that kind of environment and I like to see different different and new kind of things. And then going to fashion shows and going to different art events, you know, I really put everything together for me. Very cool, very cool. That's awesome. I mean, I've seen your successes there. You're doing a lot of cool things. You've been inspiring a lot of fashion natives to get into your own style and own brand. So just keep it up on there. Yeah, it's very important for you to have your own identity and have your own look because being normal is, is boring. For you to have your own individual style makes you unique, makes you stand out, and it, it puts more ownership over your own look and yourself. Absolutely, definitely there. Let me ask you, um, have you ever received a lump of coal? No, I, I haven't yet. I, I hope to maybe because it's, it's a good way to heat your house. It is a good way to heat your house <laughs> here in Florida. <laughs> here for Art Week. Definitely a good way to, to warm your house and not burn your house on fire. Of course. And of course, you, know, you could cook with that and put some on the grill, you know. Most, multi-purpose, multi-purpose. Multi-purpose. Are you a multi-purpose cook? Of course, yeah. Okay, what do you cook? I cook um, a lot of vegan meals, so that's pasta, legumes, which is beans, grains, those different kind of things. Uh, I've been getting into burgers lately, so that's been a bit of a cool experiment, working on different kind of breads, working on different kind of patties. So, now I, I got a little thing going on in the kitchen. That's cool, that's good, that's good. Our, your meals are definitely, are definitely fashionable and styleable then. It's kind of hard to do the fashionable meals because, you know, all that decor, it's not really great stuff to eat, so, you know, you can't really be eating that stuff. Let me, and I see that definitely there. Let me ask you, um, can you can you sing the words to Jingle Bells? Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingles all the way. I forgot the rest of the song. <laughs> At least you tried. <laughs> you tried, That's all, and that's all that matters. Yeah. And let me ask you to finish up our rapid fire, these are questions interview. Um, what are your plans for the holidays? Um, honestly, get some more rest because there's so much more I gotta do for next year. I got a lot of, got a lot of clothes I'm designing. I got jewelry I'm designing, more podcasts I'm working on. So definitely get some rest and recuperation for kicking the bigger office of new projects. Awesome, awesome. That's great. Well, I wish you a very happy holidays here. Enjoy the times with your loved one and your family. Thank you so much for doing an interview on These Are Questions. And if you need stylish advice, he's the guy. He's the guy. He is the style god. Thank you. Everyone can follow me at Quinn KB. DM me fresh. Let's get to work. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks again. Please welcome... Avni Parak. Hi. Welcome to These Are Questions. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Ask away. Okay. I'm going to ask you a series of questions based on your career and aspirations, okay. along with a mixture of questions that are borderline idiotic and, well, randomly stupid. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get right to the chase right there. Um, you've done a lot of cool, awesome things in your life. How did the journey all begin for you? Wow, that's such a great question. How did the journey start? Um, the journey actually started with a dream, okay. a childhood dream to be an author. That's how it started. And um, where there's a dream, there's a will and ambition, and that's what's led me here. That's, good. that's awesome. And that's awesome. And when there's a dream, there's a will, and when there's a will, there's a way. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, how long have you been in like the media, the arts field? How long have you been doing that for? So actually I've been in arts all my life. As a child I'd get my artwork into the gallery. So I did a whole bunch of um, different medium with art. I did painting, linoleum, clay, all sorts of like, you know, exploring the art, you know, exploring my talents. That's awesome, that's awesome. And we can see a lot of your talents being displayed on fam in Family Karma, in your, in your hit show. Um, can you give any little like teaser, little spoilers that's coming up for the upcoming season? No, actually we are waiting. So that's where we're at. We're at a waiting game right now. Um, but I do want to tell the viewers to stay tuned because it's not done yet. It's not done, it's not done, it's not done. Let me ask you, can you build a water park on top of a mountain you know what why not I feel like building a water park or maybe like a water slide on top of a mountain seems kind of plausible it seems like the right thing to do doesn't it I think it does I think anything's possible you know look at the chances of our meeting here on these are questions doing this holiday special nonetheless on there Absolutely. which segues to my next question do you think that Winnie the Pooh can be the next mainline holiday character why not? I mean, Winnie the Pooh is actually such a classic character. Everybody knows Winnie the Pooh. 
I think it's time. Yes, let's bring him out. Let's bring him out. Winnie the Pooh for the holidays, 2023 slash 2024 slash 2025. Because who knows when this comes out? No, it's going to come out in 2023. I got you. It's a holiday special. It's already out if you're watching this. So we're good. We're good. We're fabulous, good. Fabulous. Fabulous. And you're fabulous on there. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. And it's like the it's like we're cold, we're warm, we're hot and cold. We go back and forth. It's freezing at the moment here. It is. It is. It's freezing, and I have frostbite in South Florida. All right, and that's that's a hell of a statement right there, having frostbite in South Florida. That's wild. That's wild. That's wild. And going in, I'm going to finalize in our last question here. On these are questions. How are you going to spend the holidays in your winter wonderland? Oh my goodness! I'm going to spend the holidays sipping on some hot cocoa. Uh, with dear friends and family and especially my fur babies and uh, what a way to spend for the holidays there thank you so much for doing this interview on these are questions I tremendously appreciate it I wish you all the best and let's go for the next season of family karma oh, yeah we're ready we're ready baby <laughs> there you go that's it that's it Hi, my name is Stephen Raffin. You're watching These Are Questions, an interview show where I ask people questions about things, life, and such not. And today I'm with a talented artist. He's an amazing guy. He is the one, the only, the Nope King. Nope King. Hey, what's going on, people? Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm going to ask you, Mr. Nope King, I'm going to ask you a series of questions based on your career and aspirations, along with a mixture of questions that are borderline idiotic and well randomly stupid. Do you accept? You got that. I accept. Okay, okay. Let me ask you first off, why do you call yourself the Nope King? Well, the mantra is, Nope, I am a king. So it was built off of my self-doubt. Uh, one day I woke up and said I'm going to be all being and all knowing. Uh, I'm going to do my best to bring love, peace, and harmony to all. And uh, that's where the Nope King came from. And that's fitting for this holiday special there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Um, you know what rhymes with Nope King? <laughs> this is a family-friendly show oh, on These Are Questions. I'm just going to b- b- blow that out. It, it rhymes with uh, Snow Cane. Snow Cane. Oh, Snow King. Yeah, Snow Cane. And let me ask you, do you like Snow Kings or do you like Candy Canes? Candy canes, for sure. Okay, candy canes are pretty good. That's acceptable here on These Are Questions there. And let me ask you to follow up with that. Um, you know, there's four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, okay? Um, there's Donatello, Leonardo, um, Raphael. Raphael. And, uh, and uh, last one? Was last one? Yeah. Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, and... I don't know the last We need to phone a friend. Okay, this ruins my question because I can't even remember it either because of the lights. But the question is, there's four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes. What would be the name of the fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Cashes. Cashes. I like that. That's a good name. That's a good name. He would name. be olive mm-hmm. green, mm-hmm. and he would probably have, like, a bow staff katana spear. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. I like that Dollar there. Signs everywhere. Dollar signs everywhere. Dollar signs everywhere. Mm-hmm. And you've given some motivational there. You get a little about your name. I just want to talk a little bit about your art. How long have you been doing your artwork, and what's the best piece of advice for people that want to go into the art field? I've been doing my artwork for 15 years, commercial and multimedia for about four. Nice. That's awesome. And you got some awesome artwork here. I'm going to show it on display. You can see some of the cool artworks that he has. He does some awesome work there. And the last question I want to ask you here on These Are Questions is that how are you going to spend the holidays? Probably snuggled up to my daughter and a hot cup of coffee and uh, some presents. That's it. That's, That's the best way to do it there. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much for this interview on These Are Questions. I greatly appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hi, my name is Stephen Raffer, and you're watching These Are Questions. It's an interview show where I ask people questions about things, life, and such not. And I'm with a talented artist. He goes by the name of Timothy Strong. Yep, that's me. Yo, welcome to These Are Questions. Okay, I'm excited to be here. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a series of questions based on your career and aspirations, along with a mixture of questions that are borderline idiotic and well randomly stupid. Do you accept those terms? I agree. Okay. First things first, why do you call yourself Mr. Strong? I was born that way. You're a strong man? Absolutely. Can you compete in the world's strongest man? Absolutely. I won before. Can you compete in the world universe ultra strong man ultra competition? Yeah, I dominated that competition before. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Dang, you dominated. All right, fine, fine, fine. That's going to be your new nickname, Dominant Strong. Ooh, I love it. There you go. Trademark that, copyright it, make t-shirts, get the t-shirts, buy my shirt at rapnationstore.com. Yeah. yeah, we ready. Okay, how long have you been doing your art for? A little over a decade. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. And what's the best feeling when you create a new art piece? The process of it coming alive. 
the creative process can be uh, challenging sometimes, but seeing that final product is very rewarding. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's awesome. And I and I and I know there's a lot of upcoming artists, some cool artists that want to do some amazing pieces, but they're like trying to get into their way. What's the best piece of advice that you can give for an artist that's trying to move up and trying to get to like the next level? One step at a time. You actually don't want to jump steps because in the long run, it's going to wind up hurting you. So appreciate the one step at a time. A brick a day goes a long way. Very true, very true. That's awesome, that's awesome. So um, let me ask, um, if you had a holiday burrito, what would you put inside that burrito? A special holiday or just a holiday in general? Is it winter time? Is it spring, summer, fall? Well, we are filming the winter holiday special, so. All right, so maybe put a little chili in there. Okay. You know, maybe some chicken. I think, I think this chili will do the job in the winter time. Okay, okay. It, you're looking for a nice warm burrito. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And um, w could you, would you be able to climb the Eiffel Tower in the middle of the winter? Has it been done before? I have no idea. Well, if it's been done before, I'm able to do it. Okay. If you can legally do it, then we can do it. Uh, absolutely. I'm not sure. You probably can't climb the Eiffel Tower. It's illegally. Uh, if it's illegal. I'm going to stay away from it. I like to be on the right side of the law. That's right. Yeah. On the strong side of the law. On the dominant strong side of the law. Mmm. But, but pick a dealer's choice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And as we're wrapping up our interview and these are questions, because i got to respect everyone's time here because we're on Media Row. Um, how are you going to spend? How, how are you going to spend? How are you going to spend? How are we going to spend? How are we going to expand? Spend? Underwear? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, how are you going to spend the holidays? I spent Thanksgiving here in Miami, but for uh, Christmas season, I wind up traveling to see my family this time. Absolutely. There you go. Family is the most important. Absolutely. It's the strongest part of your life. Absolutely. The, the most dominant part of my life. There you go. There you go. Well, Timothy Strong, you're going to see your artworks everywhere. I appreciate you for this interview and these are questions. Right, I appreciate you, Stephen. No problem. You're watching these are questions. It's the interview show where I ask people questions about things, life, and such not. And today's guest is a very talented artist. She's up and coming in her ranks, and she does some amazing artwork. Please welcome Yana. Hi, nice to meet you, and thank you. Very nice to meet you. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. It's going to be based on your career and aspirations, along with a mixture of questions that are borderline idiotic and, well, randomly stupid. Do you accept those terms? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get right to it. How long have you been doing your artwork for? Uh, six months. Six months. Wow. I my town in the United States. That's amazing. In the U.S.? Yeah. I moved to the United States and discovered myself as an artist. That's great. That's awesome there. And I got the chance to see some of your art pieces. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. Where do you want to see your artwork be displayed in the future? Oh, I've been in Vienna, Austria. If I'm gonna be in their museums, that would be fantastic. Hey, okay, I can see that definitely. I can see your artwork going all across the world if you really wanted to. Yeah, I would be happy if that's so. And I'm having messages of what I'm bringing to through my art. My art is a healing, and my art is about beauty. So, if I'm gonna show it to the world, I'm gonna be happy. As well, I'm helping uh, children in Ukraine. And through my paintings, I'm helping my uh, country as I'm a refugee. Well, I very much respect that, and that's very nice of you to do that. And I know it's a very difficult time right now, and I hope everything goes well as time goes on. And at least you're showcasing that within your artwork and showing that inner beauty there. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. So let me ask you, um, do you have you ever rode on a roller coaster before? Roller coaster? Yeah. Do you know what a roller coaster is? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, not American. Not American? Would you want to ride an American roller coaster? Yes. Okay. I'm excited to try everything in America. Good. As you should. I recommend having good American food, good American rides, good American times. We're at a good American fashion show right now. But, yeah. Good fun. Good fun. Good fun. And let me ask, how would you want to spend your holidays for the rest of this year? What are you going to be planning for? Well, I got married by a soldier who has been 15 years in the military. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah, and our stories got connected, and his family is my family, so I'm going to celebrate with my family in the United States. Good. As you should, and that's the best way to celebrate there. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
Well, for me, for my holidays, I'm here spending your time here on These Are Questions with my guests and my viewers, and I'm going to be spending the time with my family and loved ones there. That's my plans on there. And just like that, that's the end of our interview. Yana, it's a pleasure. I wish you all the best in your artwork. And I'm going to say to finish off our episode here on These Are Questions, I wish you all a wonderful, happy holidays. Enjoy the time with your friends and loved ones. To a new year, let's go. Better adventures, better season coming through. Mm-hmm.